see, let me just tell you about one family and then who, who was attacked and the person was killed and this other family who was attacked and he's still alive. I know of one Baba Jubur Matinja who, 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 who is an elder in the church where I was working. He's not just an elder, but he has played a very key role right from the time that church was founded, the building of the church. I mean, he has been instrumental to to first generation of believers in that area, and then even to the second generation, and all in now to the third generation. And what happened to him was he, 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 he went to his farm, harvested some of his farm product, and brought it back home. And then they had the dinner with his children. Of course, the wife was not there because they were displaced but the he came back because certainly wherever you are you must think of what to eat so he came to harvest so that he will take it and go and join the remaining family and he was with one of his sons so they harvested everything together and after that in the evening after dinner and then after praying they went to bed to sleep and only to be wake up by the group of Boko Haram terrorists. They came, knocked at the door, had the door open, had them come out. They sat them in their presence and they said, we have come here to do God's work. We've been preaching, we've been hearing our last speaker telling you to leave this useless religion and join Islam, but you stubbornly refuse. So we've come, now we want to give you last opportunity. Are you ready to leave Christianity and join Islam? Now, this is the benefit. If you leave Christianity and join Islam, we will not kill you. We will give you good work. We will provide you, with, if you need addition of wife, we will add wife for you, you know. This your son hasn't any good work, we give him work. No, they promise like paradise on earth for them. But if you refuse, then you fail with your life. That man and his son decided to fail with their life because they refused to deny Christ. Because they know the passage that says, He whosoever deny me, I will also what? Deny him before my father in heaven. So they refused to deny God. They were shot with a gun and put to death instantly. Just around the neighborhood, also Havila Adamu was there. Maybe it was when they finished with that house that they got to Havila Adamu's house. They went and knocked at his door, get, knocked at his door, had him out together with his wife and his only son, sat them. They now pushed the wife and the son to sit as one side by the side but watching everything that was going on they asked him is he a military man he said no you see a government worker he said no but he's a he's a businessman and they now asked him is he a christian or a muslim he said he's a christian and they asked him are you not afraid of responding to us that you are a Christian? He said, no, I'm not afraid. I'm a Christian and my identity in Christ must be known to you. But you can see us carrying AK-47. Are you not afraid of the gun we are holding? He said, I'm not afraid of the gun you are holding. They now ask him, okay, we are here to preach to you about Islam. We are here to do God's work. We've been preaching, you've been hearing us almost every Friday preaching, but he refused to, to give in to it. So we have come, and you know, this was happening around one in the night. So we have come to just tell you that you need to give your life and join Islam. 
Abela, of course, refused to accept that. He refused to deny his faith. So they now asked him, you said you are doing God's work too. Abela said, yes, we are doing God's work. We Christians are the representative of God on earth. And so there is nothing that we do on this earth rather than turn people back to God. They said, okay, we to our religion is turning people back to God. And if you think we are joking, we can turn you back to God now. So Abila said, you, you, are, you have every right to do whatever you like because you, you, are, you, are number, you are many in number and I'm the only one. And his wife and the child were hearing and witnessing everything that was going on. And then they now say, we want to ask you for the last time. Are you ready to deny your Christian faith and join Islam or not? Now, when Abila said, no, I am not ready to deny my Christian faith fit before he will say other things they shot him with the gun the bullet went from here and busted here and he fell and then they came and stood on him of course seeing the entrance and the and the exit of the bullet they said this man will not actually survive it so they pushed him with the leg they are like to observe whether he is dead or still alive. And when they discover he wasn't moving, they told his wife, see the harvest of the stubborn character of your husband. We have killed your husband. And if you dare make any small noise, you and your child will also join him. So they block the door from behind and lock them in and walk away and leave them. But to the glory of God, Havila is still alive and is living for the kingdom. And Havila is my member. I was his pastor. So also the other family. In fact, I played a role in rushing Havila into the city of Jos, delegating some of the church elders because I had these two members that were killed the same night to, do, to perform their funeral service. And so some of the elders took him to just, you know, these are uh, ministry boys of Christian matters, assisted by taking care of him in the hospital. 